All right, what's up, YouTube? Scottish Bear here again. As you can see, I got the, uh, the horns installed. It's um, not a final installation. I plan on um, molding them from here to here so it's all like one piece and maybe lowering them a little bit and um, bringing them uh, forward. Well, I guess forward towards the firewall. So um, let me smear on this inside here. I've been spending the afternoon, um, you know, tweaking the gains and everything, and um, I had it, uh, I had it set up with um, the uh, the horns. They're only on like a 60 watts. Hang on. It's looking louder than I thought. Uh, the horns are only on um, 30 watts a piece. The doors themselves, the tens, are only on 60 watts. And um, the 18s on the back are still on 240. So um, I'm just going to run through a couple tracks with you and um, give you an idea of um, what it sounds like. Um, there's a huge difference. It sounds amazing. It's going to need a little bit of EQ. I don't know if you can read that, but um, I've turned down uh, 2 and 6K and I've uh, raised up 16K. Now, obviously, there's a couple more uh, measurements I want to do, and I should use a, a graphic equalizer instead of a parametric because it's basically, it, you know, does a frequency curve like this, but there's other frequencies in it that get raised and lowered based on um, this. So, you know, we'll go ahead and um, we'll go ahead and uh, turn this up, and then you guys can get a better idea. Now you guys have heard that, uh, that track in my stereo before, and um, it uh, it sounds pretty amazing. Eventually, this will uh, it'll get a uh, trim, and it'll get uh, molded into that panel. But it'll also be cut right there, so the motor can fit better. And um, it's the same thing with the other one. The uh, the tape is on there for um, the uh, the installation. And I learned that from Matt Bogart when he was uh, putting in his image dynamic horns. And um, he said that there was something to do with um, how uh, metal shavings could get on them, and um, then it'll get inside the diaphragm. And I didn't want that, so I went ahead and taped them, but I just haven't taken that tape off yet because it's been extraordinarily cold. But um, let's get some uh, wrap in here. You see that check engine light? It just came on today. I think I got a bad O2 sensor. Pain in the ass. This seems like it never ends, you know? In between the stereo and, like, normal maintenance, this thing is just, like, draining me, you know? Okay, let me see if I can find a track here. Little juice box. A lot of women out here. Yeah. Now nah, they want to do it having the time. So. <laughs> I'm gonna really be cringing because it's just so loud. Let's make something. Juice box. Juice box. Oh, Man, they still need a little EQ, but you know they're um they're definitely getting after it. I think this one's a little bit easier on the ears. Awesome. 
shit. Yeah, they need to be cute a little bit. My ears are ringing for sure. What's that then? I don't even know what that is. Ah, uh, old school track. Thought I had more on here. Now obviously my UNK and um, a couple other new tracks I downloaded. Unk, I guess you want to call them. Uh, they're, uh... They're actually on my iPod and I use them to make videos, so, uh, you know. We'll just go ahead and roll out to a little, uh, Sean Paul, and, um, I, uh, I should have a couple of, um, updates in the near future. But, um, right now, uh, now that we got all the speakers in, we'll have, um, the 12-inch rebuilding the doors. Um... New battery underneath the hood, battery bank in the rear, and a couple more amplifiers plus the trunk build. So um, I still have a lot more for you guys, and we haven't even started on my home audio projects yet, which are legion. So um, it should be pretty interesting. But uh, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna quit rambling, and um, I'm just gonna let you uh, listen to this. So Scottish Bear signing out. Peace. Drink.